Hi, it's Will. This is a second short video on debugging a VST3 plugin inside of a VST3 host. In the first video, we used Reaper and we used the debug configuration in Visual Studio. So we built the plugin in the debug configuration. We debugged it that way. In this video, we're going to build the plugin as a release version of the plugin and debug it in the release version. Now there are a few, uh, there are a few issues with this, mainly involving what you can and can't see in Visual Studio and what you can and can't put a breakpoint on in Visual Studio. So when we were uh, debugging this way, I've gone ahead and I've built the plugin in release mode and I've copied it into my VST3 folder so it's all set up. When we do this type of debugging, we're going to attach to the process manually. So there is nothing for us to set up inside of the solution the way that we had to before. So I'll just start Reaper running. It's going, and I'll go back to Visual Studio, and then from the debug menu, I'm going to choose Attach to Process here. And then from this list, I will find Reaper.exe, which is here, and say Attach. So now we've attached to Reaper, and we are running inside of Reaper. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here at the top of the, uh, the constructor. I'm going to go into Reaper and instantiate the plugin, and this is it, multi-fx underscore vst, say OK, and sure enough, the, uh, the, the breakpoint gets hit here. Now, this is interesting. Let me go into the watch window. This is the watch window, and I just deleted some stuff. I'm going to type in this so we can look at it. And what we see is that a bunch of these things are, um, are x'd out. Beforehand, they were just uh, they just had non-values there, but now these things are xed out. One of those is the RackFX plugin itself. It's not actually going to be visible until we get out of this function, and so this makes it kind of problematic if this is where the problem was and it was within that RackFX plugin core. However, if you built your plugin properly in RackFX, then your core has already been debugged, and most likely whatever problem that you're having is going to be somewhere else. So. Um, I will get it. I'm going to move down here to the set active function. I'm going to put a breakpoint here in set active. This is going to get called when your plugin gets turned on. And I'll hit continue. And we just hit the set active function. Well, now there are our, um, our variables that were not visible before. So when you're in uh, the release version of this, there's going to be some quirks you're going to have to deal with about what you can and can't see. Likewise, I'm going to go uh, into the process function here. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here. This is the same place that I put the breakpoint in the debug configuration. Hit continue. And we just hit the breakpoint inside of the process function. So there is, uh, there is that happening. And then here is our this object. And then here are the member variables and stuff. Now I'm going to take the number of channels variable, which is a locally declared variable here, and drag it and drop it into the watch window, and you can see that it has this red X next to it, meaning we're not allowed to see this, what this variable is, or modify this variable uh, inside of the release version of the, of the software. So there are going to be a few limitations like this, depending on, um, on how you've got the plugin set up, but at least you can do some debugging. If you can't uh, see variables, then one thing that you can do is log information to the output screen or into a log file. And I've covered that in my synth book. And we'll have some other videos on that in the future on doing debug logging. But this will at least get you uh, into your plugin and actively debugging it while it's residing within, um, within our other, within our host over here. There it is. So that's the end of this short video. I'm going to do some more videos with uh, Xcode and other plugin APIs in the next few days. See you in those videos.